Let me see. Oh, I need like a knife or something. You, you got a knife? I have one of these. So, oh, so these are scaleless koi from Japan. Just so I could show you guys what actually killed my animals. And as you guys can see, three, two, boom! You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at all the koi! So we actually have the salt right here. This is a Solar Naturals salt crystal for water softener now. Usually you have to pour salt inside of like this big canister if you have well water to um, obviously purify your water. Right here. All right, so we put all that salt in that one spot. This one is gonna be scattered around the pond. All right guys, so we're good. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let that filter system go, start sucking off that salt, start shooting that salt through this pond. We should be good to go, ready for those koi on the front porch. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go grab those koi, bring them out here, unbox them, throw them in this pond, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, so let's do it. Here we go. See that lizard? Ready? Three, two, ah! Wow, ha, ha, look at his mouth. Look at his mouth. This right here should be a Jesus lizard. Now you see his big feet right there? Those guys have huge, like a wingspan on a bird. They have huge feet and it allows them to actually run on water. This lizard's gonna run on water. Go. <laughs> Did you see for like that split second that he just went like this, ba, 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 ba. And uh, he's a good swimmer apparently. All right guys, so this is box number four of these beautiful koi fish. We actually have five boxes coming from New York. <sighs> you guys ready to unbox some koi? Wait up, we're missing one box of koi. Uh, something's going on with UPS. Fitz Fish Ponds is on it. Thank you, buddy. But of course, Raw Fam, these right here are my beautiful replacement koi for basically what happened with that massive bird. I'm never putting a fish in this pond ever again. Hi, baby. Come here. Look at them. They're just so sweet, and, and that's the problem. Just so I could show you guys what actually killed my animals. And as you guys can see, three, two, boom! Oh my goodness. That is crazy. And as you guys can see, this fish is struggling, and he's trying to get away from this bird. All right, Raw fam, so we have one, two, three, four boxes of beautiful koi to replace. Unfortunately, the dead koi. Unfortunate, you know, those koi did die. We got these beautiful babies. These things are gorgeous, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start unboxing these guys, and uh, we're gonna see my beautiful babies from Japan. So, uh, let me see. Oh, I need like a knife or something. You, you got a knife? Um, I don't have a knife, but I have, um, I have one of these. So. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Three, two, one. Don't worry, babies, I'm coming for you. Here we go. Oh yeah, satisfying. This is exactly, yeah, I, I, I can't do this. I, I gotta get a real knife. Like, beautiful. Hi babies, you guys in there? Don't worry, I'm saving you. Oh, I didn't know that these came. You know what these are? These are gonna be doits. So these are gonna be, oh yeah, these are really cool. So these are actually um, a doits koi. So that means scaleless koi. They have no scales on the top of them. Let me show you what I mean. Whoa, big dog, big Nelly. All right, so we're gonna put this in there. Just like that. We're going to flip the baggie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. All right, you ready? Come up here. All right, so these are scaleless koi from Japan. Wow, aren't those beautiful, wow. So, you can tell that these guys are scaleless. Well, not this one, this is just a butterfly koi. This right here is a beautiful, it has, has no scales on it. it, is absolutely flawless. So does this one, all four of these guys over here 
are absolutely flawless. So of course guys, these four right here are scaleless. This is a normal butterfly koi. I just thought I would get one. It's not the Japanese culture to do butterfly koi, but I wanted one. It's like kind of like a joke. I could easily grab this guy like this. Come, come close. I want to show you guys these beautiful colors. So, see, just see that, like that ink blotches on this guy, all right here. This guy is beautiful too. Look at that. Wow, wow, buddy, you are beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Going to bam. That would be one koi. There you go, Bubba. Welcome to Florida. You guys ready for the most beautiful koi that I've ever been to the Rawl fam? Hi, babies. Hi. Come on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just look at this beautiful koi right here. Look at that. Just the colors. You're buying the genetics, the bloodline. These fish are all going to get massive. These things are absolutely gorgeous. And you know what the cool thing about this is? Um, I went over to a koi farm the other day. These koi right here, if you wanted to buy a lower quality version of these koi, I went to a koi farm by my house. This tosai imported from Japan was $85 a koi. Wow. The max you would pay for one of these on my website is $50 a koi. And if you guys buy a bunch of these guys, you're gonna be paying like $35 to $45 a koi and you're gonna get really good deals at rawfishing.com. So, without further ado, bro, just look at these koi, bro. So gorgeous. We're gonna fatten these guys up here shortly and uh, we are going to power feed these guys and get them ready for the raw fam. Wow, hey, come here, come here, come here. Look at this fish. See this fish? Is this a doitz? It is. No, no, it's regular, regular. My bad. Sorry for that. I got a little excited. Take it nice and slow. Beautiful. Look at this, bro. See this? This is what you're buying. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful big black blotches, but look how big its head is compared to the rest of the body. That's what you're buying. That That's the huge thing. These koi are going to get massive. And you know, every single koi that you see, his head is so much bigger than the rest of the body. And you know, that's what you really wanna look for in a koi. Look at this mutt. Look at this thing. What the heck is that? <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. So, you know, you're, you're just getting all of these assorted, arranged, beautiful koi, these big, beautiful heads. I had Shintaro pick me out koi, and um, I said, hey, what koi do you like? And I was looking at a bunch of koi that were perfect now, but he was like, no, 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 no. Look for the head. The head will match the body later. Wow, guys, it's amazing how beautiful the fish are. I could barely even see them. Wow, these guys are freaking phenomenal. And the one. Beautiful. All right, Ralph fam, so the water that's already in there is water from that pond right there. So I got one in there floating, and then I'm gonna acclimate these guys in here. This is a beautiful Showa too. Like a brownish black head. Beautiful Sanke right here. Sanke, Sanke right, beautiful Sanke. Um, a little Mutt Kohaku. Mutt Kohaku right here. One step Kohaku. Beautiful Sanke right there. These are just all gonna be gorgeous koi. The most beautiful koi in the ponds usually are the ones that look like this, you know? The ones that don't have that many crazy colors. Like right off the bat, you know, some of these fish, you know, are dimes just like that. But usually it's the ones that you don't expect. Like these ones, like you see this? Like when this thing is 90 centimeters one day, 
you know, those little blotches will be about this big, you know? And, you know, potentially if Shintero raised this thing, it could be a grand champion one day. You never know. But that's why I invested in those koi because, you know, I want to have beautiful koi. So I go to the best people. I buy the best quality koi in the world, the best breeding lines. And, you know, I'm not expecting a grand champion, but anything below that is absolutely 10, 100 times better than anyone else in America. So, <laughs> Yeet. So of course, Royal Fam, we do have a bunch of beautiful koi in this pond, but it's time to add a couple more. You ready? Hey, babies. Oh, this toe size is so beautiful. And just wait, Royal Fam. Just wait till these guys start eating. You guys are gonna get a real definition of how Japanese koi eat. This is how we do it. Beautiful, look at them all go. Guys, <laughs> this pond right here. This pond right here should be the most high quality koi in all of, um, definitely all of Florida. I don't know about the United States, but <laughs> this is gonna be insane. So I just kinda wanna show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, grabbing these beautiful koi, and I'm just getting them all in one little, one little thing. And I leave a bunch of water in there, and the water over at Fitz is, going through a massive filtration system. He tests for KHV, all diseases. He treated all of these fish. And every fish that's coming to my facility is 100% treated and the water is 100% safe for fish. All right, guys. I just have so many koi that it would take me an hour to hand pick them all one by one. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at all the koi! Oh my gosh, bro, they're so beautiful! So every single batch of koi, oh my god, look at this Showa. Look at that Showa. Woo-wee! Bro, that is going to be a freaking dime! Guys, all these koi, I mean, you really, this is, this is the koi you're looking for. These koi with these big, beautiful heads like that. And then, um, you know, you want to look at body size first and color. And then those are the koi that you could, um, you know, start to uh, separate from the rest. Like this guy, decent head, not a crazy big head, but um, good body, good colors. You know, you could really tell that they know what they're looking for in koi. Beautiful. I want to get these guys in here and get this filter running as quick as possible. All right, guys, so for today, this is the last bin of koi that is going in this pond. Bye, babies. Have fun and welcome to the Raw Fam. I now have, what, you think over 100 koi in here? So if we got, uh, ma, 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 ma. yeah, I, I, I don't know how many koi we have in here. <laughs> so of course, Raw Fam, this is the new koi, or these are the new koi, um, and um, everybody say, What's Gucci, Raw Fam? But of course, Raw Fam, without further ado, everybody say hello to the beautiful Koi from Japan. These guys are gorgeous. These guys are beautiful. And um, honestly, Raw Fam, um, I think it's about time to turn this filter on. So, uh, wait right here. Here we go. All right, Raw Fam, so that is gonna be the end of today's awesome, crazy, loud video. I know there's a lot of wind. I know there's a lot of stuff happening, but we finally got the beautiful koi um, to replace those koi that obviously passed away because of the massive vulture looking thing. I, I don't even know what the heck it was. Rolfam, if you guys want to you know, have weekly updates on all of these koi, follow me on Instagram at Fishing. I'm gonna be posting every single day over there and you know, obviously follow me here on YouTube. Subscribe, join freaking raw fam now this is my beautiful koi pond right here but this is the pond i'm really proud about there's like a crazy cycle fish in here oh jaws <laughs>